Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so this video we are going to talk about MacBook Pro 2020 yeah so this is not the M1 model guys this is a uh, Intel based MacBook Pro which got released few months back or what you can call as mid 20s MacBook Pro so here I have a MacBook Pro 2020 which I bought four to five months back and here are the specification on the screen for your reference so this is as you know currently running on Mac OS Big Sur and the specific version version is 11.0.1 and it is a i5 uh, processor guys so it's based on intel chipset so it is on 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor and it has 8 gb of ram so i've used this macbook pro for almost four to five months so in this video while everyone in the youtube talking about m1 macbook air m1 macbook pro on this video i want to spend some time talking about my experience with intel based macbook pro of course there are many advantages is what people are not talking about with Intel based MacBook Pro oh, and also I have Geekbench 5 with me also I have played a couple of games on this MacBook Pro so I'm gonna share my experience with this MacBook Pro so if you're having a MacBook Pro or want to purchase a MacBook Pro want to make your decision that whether you should go for MacBook Air or MacBook Pro or at least how are the Intel based MacBook Pro performing at late 2020s then you should definitely watch this video till the end all right, so let's start the video. But before that, if you're new here, I would like you to, you know, hit the like button. And also if you're new here, it's a sincere request to subscribe to the channel. It gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, as I shared the specification with you in the beginning of the video, so as you can see I have already Geekbench 5 scores with me. I've run this uh, Geekbench 5 and it detected my model as MacBook Pro 13 inch and the build is detected as i5 Intel best Mac. Now if I go on compute, so it says that it has Intel Iris Plus graphics 645 chipset and also if I take a look at the device, it gives me MacBook Pro 16 slash 3 i don't know why is that because this is not a macbook pro 16 inch this is a macbook pro 13 inch so now let's talk about the performance so it gave me a score of single score of around 945 which you can see right over here and the multi score is 3967 which is not that bad i am sure that if you run this benchmarking scores and applications on your m1 macbook pro or macbook air the score is going to be pretty high pretty better than what you're seeing on the screen right now but that's not the point of making this video so i wanted to share my real time experience with this macbook pro so as you can see this is the uh, screen the screen actually looks great and i have been using this macbook pro for my video editing purpose mainly so as you can see this is the iMovie so let me just open this iMovie application so that I can show you one of my template and the workflow how do I exactly edit my video so as you can see it all loaded up just fine and the scrolling through the tabs and everything it just works well so to give you guys an idea it's a four minute of video and I shoot all my videos in 1080p so to render the video it takes about one or two minutes so if it's a 10 minute video it takes around five to six minutes so 50 percent of what exactly the video length is it does take with this iMovie apart from that talking about the video editing softwares i have also used wondershare filmora x so why i'm talking about this video editing software because uh, let's not talk about the benchmarking steps because when it comes to the real world performance there are few aspects through which you want to judge a machine so this is the video editing test or rendering test is one of those things through which you can actually judge a machine how much time it takes to render a 1080p footage how much time it takes to render a 4k footage so that's why i'm talking about video editing softwares so now with this wondershare filmora i have used it but i would say it is not as as fast as imovie because imovie is made for macbooks imovie is made for mac os so it is pretty fast so in uh, filmora it has the good transition good effects and text like that everything but to render a six minute video it takes around four to five minutes so that's the video editing thing so also i have played some couple of games on my macbook pro you might be knowing that macbooks are not 
uh, very famous for playing games although i have played this life is strange 2 game also before this i have played life is strange and other games small games like that and it handled the game very well as you can see on the screen right now it is just loading the game life is strange 2 if you haven't played this game it is by unreal engine and it is one of those beautiful games that you know gives you a storytelling kind of feature and you get to choose to what exactly needs to be done and your choices really makes a difference at the end of the game so while i'm talking to you about the performance aspect of this macbook pro if you are having a macbook pro then definitely i would suggest you play this game so it, it, it is actually one of those games that you would actually love playing on this macbook pro so let me just quit as of now all right guys so apart from that let's talk about the system performance and let's talk about the preference and the option what has changed with mac os big sur so as you can see now we get to see the new wallpaper backgrounds and with mac os big sur so if you guys are having a macbook pro you might have already got the update of mac os big sur so i would say the mac os big sur is just a perfect combination of ipad os and ios so if you mix and match the ipad os and ios it gives you mac os in a bigger screen so that's what i feel about it because it has the control center it has the notification toggles things like that so as you can see it has all this widget tiles which is there on ipad os and iphone uh, ios as well so that's what i feel about it and with this macbook pro 2020 intel based it is all performing very well so do i have any complaints about this macbook pro 2020 no i don't but if we talk about video rendering you might have seen videos on youtube that people are doing video rendering tests side by side with uh, intel based macbook and m1 silicon chipset based macbook so of course with uh, native softwares like imovie and final cut pro macbook with m1 best chipsets will perform better they are supposed to perform better but this is not a bad machine and also at the beginning of the video i said that there are few advantages with uh, intel best macbook pro let's let's talk about that so uh, let me just open the utility section and i will talk about it so in the utility as you can see this is a uh, boot camp assistant so this basically i made a detailed video about boot camp assistant what it does so if you're having an intel best macbook and if you want to use windows operating system i know that this is mac os and this gives you all kind of flexibility and you love macbook that's why you bought macbook pro in the first place but still if you want to have that kind of windows experience side by side then bootcamp assistant you know comes into the picture so if you're having bootcamp assistant in your intel max definitely you can use the windows operating system side by side i have a detailed video i will leave a card round here so that you can go ahead and check the full process about bootcamp assistant and how to install windows so this is the main advantage of having the bootcamp assistant if you're having an intel best mac then definitely you can take the advantage of bootcamp assistant and can load windows side by side and apart from that talking about the other things you know i have played couple of games i have done video rendering tests i have also run the benchmarking test as i've showed you earlier in this video with geekbench 5 and all so it just performs very well so in late 2020 if you want to buy a macbook pro then definitely i would suggest if you want to go for mac os then definitely go for those silicon m1 based macs because those are of course a better machine compared to this and those with mac os with apple's own silicon m1 chipset will perform far and much better than these intel best macbooks but still if you're having this intel best macbook and um, these are not m1 macbooks these are intel based macbook these are not bad machines this just came out of this year and with all this display and with all its glory the intel based macs are very good machine and i'm pretty sure that down the lane two to three years i'll be pretty much satisfied with this macbook pro so in this video i just wanted to give you my experience and overall you know talk about the performance aspect and gaming aspects video editing aspects and whether at the end of 2020 if you're having a macbook pro which is intel based whether you should regret it because this just came out three four months back and apple has just again released you know uh, m1 based macbook which is uh, which is right now available so if you're having intel based macs don't regret guys you have the flexibility to use windows and apart from that there are other softwares which are as of now not compatible with m1 macbooks or macbook pro so they're using some kind of plugins rosetta to uh, you know use those application which is as of now buggy but it is a transition phase going on which will be fixed in near future 
but then again i wanted to talk about this macbook pro because i have one of them this is the macbook pro 2020 model and i wanted to talk about it i wanted to you know explain you guys how beautiful it works let's talk about the video editing let's talk about gaming let's talk about scribbling through applications using different application it all just performs very well I hope you got a very clear idea about the intel based Mac and if you're having one you don't need to regret it just enjoy your machine so then again i hope you enjoy this video if you did enjoy this video give this video a thumbs up and also if you're new here i would request you to subscribe to the channel and join our team that would motivate me a lot to make more of this kind of videos for you guys and with that being said i will see you on my next video bye